Howdy friends, welcome back to the Eclectic Sam YouTube channel and welcome back to a What Sold on eBay last week video. All those that have uh, seen my videos in the past, you might notice something a little bit different. Had to get me a little haircut, I was looking like a homeless man. Mama said if I needed, if I was going to become a YouTube star, I needed to get a haircut. That's my Bobby Boucher impersonation from Waterboy. Vicky Valancourt's the devil, of course. But uh, let's get started with this video. Uh, we only sold one item yesterday. Today is Wednesday, September the 16th. And let me show you what we sold. The one item that I sold today was this K-Line brand 143rd scale truck. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I got that from uh, that big lot of uh, die-cast cars that I told y'all about from a local auction. I paid about $3 a piece for those. Um, one constant good seller for me over the 20 plus years that I've sold on eBay has always been toy vehicles, die-cast cars, stuff like that. So if you don't know about this, you might want to do some research and start learning about them and keep a lookout for good deals on them because they are good sellers. They usually sell pretty quick. It is Friday, September 18th. We only sold one item yesterday. I got to thinking, uh, sales have been kind of slow. Um, as far as numbers, uh, I'm still average sales uh, for the month but it's still kind of been slow and I got to thinking it is September and sales always start to slow down between when school starts back and right uh, right about October uh, somewhere around there uh, especially for clothing selling um, one thing that I've decided, I've made a self-conscious uh, idea that I think I'm going to slow down on selling clothes, get back into doing more collectibles and stuff like that. I'll still do, uh, you know, the vintage shirts and stuff like that, but I want to start getting my uh, products to where it's a $25 or more value. So my dollar sales will be up no matter if I sell, you know, just a few things. My dollar sales will be up. But let me show you the one item that sold uh, for yesterday. Here we have an Izod brand cable knit sweater, men's sweater. I took an offer of ten ninety nine for it. I paid two dollars for it at a local thrift store. Uh, I took the 10.99 offer because I'd had it for quite a while, so I wanted to get rid of it. Um, I it hasn't done very well for me here in the past year or so. So, but uh, that uh, that's the one item we sold yesterday. Well, it's Monday morning, September 21st. I ran a sale this weekend on the eBay. Let's uh, see what items we sold this weekend. I went ahead and pulled a few things so we could get this by a little bit quicker. First thing up is this Wyatt Earp movie uh, DVD. It sold for $4.89 with free shipping. Uh, like I've told y'all in the past, this, uh, the DVDs that I have listed and a few other things are just filler items to uh, get my numbers up on eBay. Uh, that came from my uh, personal collection, so... Essentially, it's, you know, $4.89. Uh, I'll probably make $0.75 cents for a dollar after it's uh, said and done with on that. Next up is this A&W Root Beer Bear. Um, these are from the 70s, I believe, is when they came from. This is a good example of me being comical me. Um, sold them as he was haunted. Uh, because he's in a little bit worse for wear condition. I didn't expect to get much for him, but, uh, sold him for $13.29. And, um, I paid $3 for him at a local thrift store. But, uh, sometimes, you know, the, uh, 
I'm real big into the curiosities and uh, oddities things. So from time to time, I'll have one of those for sale. But usually I'll uh, keep them for myself. But uh, this little guy, hopefully he doesn't haunt the new uh, home that he's going to too much. Here we have an item that I've had for quite a while. It didn't sell as quick as I thought it would. It's a pretty neat piece, though. It's a new with tags, vintage uh, sweater. It's embroidered with the Grumman Boat Company on it. Um, it sold for $23.09, and I paid $4 for it at the uh, local thrift store. But, you know, $4 into $23.09, it was worth waiting and sitting on for a while. But uh, hopefully the new owner likes it. Next up we have the uh, Disney Infinity uh, Star Wars game. Uh, it's a game that you play, on a video game that you play with action figures. Uh, this is Star Wars Boba Fett. I looked up at a local Goodwill and they had a whole bunch of these new in the box. And I ended up paying $2.50 a piece. With the sale that I was running this weekend, this one sold for $5.59 plus shipping. So, uh, you know, I still have a whole bunch of them. So, uh, probably made $1.50 or so on that. Not much, but... Is turning my money and it was making a sale so it helps with your numbers on eBay. This is a pretty spooky little piece right here. It's a Mezco brand uh, figure of the Exorcist. That's a pretty neat little figure. -y. I believe it comes with a couple of different you can put it in different uh, poses and stuff. Um, I paid $10 for this. I bought it at a uh, auction where a bunch bought a bunch of new in the box action figures and stuff paid ten dollars for it and this one sold for 31.49 at uh the sale that i had this weekend this is a oddities of the mind um lapel pen paid a dollar fifty for it i bought a big lot of uh pens and stuff from my local thrift store they had a big old uh had a little box full of um pens at their register and look through them i just bought all of them oddities of the mind i'm not very familiar with it but it's some kind of a convention uh for smart folks so i guess that's why i don't know much about it but um i sold it for 5.59 plus shipping um like i've always told y'all lapel pens are a very good low dollar seller they're Easy, quick to take photographs of, and real quick and easy to ship. So if you can always get them cheap, just go ahead and jump on them. Okay, I have one more last item uh, sale come through. This is a Leto 1934 Mack truck, I guess truck. It sold for $4.89. It, uh, I paid $3 for it. It came from the... Uh, the uh, big lot of uh, diecast vehicles that I've told y'all about. So I paid uh, three bucks for it. And there's another diecast out the door. Well, that's about it for what we sold this weekend. Um, that's uh, working out to be about two items a day. That's my average that I do for uh, the month. Normally I do about $1,200 a month and about two items a day. So that works out usually about $20 per item. Then, like I've said in the past, I want to bump that up to maybe $25 to $30 per item. So I'm going to start uh, selling fewer of the uh, small dollar items. Uh, but I did that 30% off uh, this weekend uh, just to boost my sales because I haven't been selling the number of items that I'd like to uh, here lately uh, and it did it boosted my sales turned some stale inventory got my money back from it and uh, we just move on and keep uh, going forward well that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it make sure you hit the like button down below and if you're not please subscribe to the channel that would really help me out 
And uh, as any time, uh, please feel free to comment any comments that you have about uh, my content and things that you might like to see in the future. But until then, my friends, love you. Bye now.